It's dangerous if you uh, if you can't move out of the way. A very, a very fluid and eruptive situation in Hawaii with more earthquakes and eruptions happening. Another powerful quake hit the Big Island today while more lava is flowing toward residential areas, damaging at least two homes. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us now with more on this eruption and what it means for the Big Island. Well, Tony and Christina, the Kilauea volcano has been erupting for the last 35 years. Residents say they noticed cracks appearing for the last day or so. And Thursday, thousands of people had minutes to pack up and get out of the way of the lava. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii erupted on Thursday, sending ash into the sky and lava into residential areas. Lava is coming out in Leilani, and it's shooting 50 feet high. It's one of five volcanoes on the Big Island of Hawaii, but Sac State geology professor Brian Hausback says this one is historic. Uh, this particular eruption is the longest recorded eruption of Kilauea. So it's been going since January 1983. The temperature inside the lava lake, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly four times as hot as the top temperature of a kitchen oven. Lava is is coming up, it's, it's forcing rocks apart and cracking rocks. Causing dozens of earthquakes, one after the other. The latest, a 6.9 magnitude Friday afternoon. This video shows local students reacting right after it hit. Every few years, Houseback takes a group of his students to study Kilauea. It's one of the best places on earth to to look at volcanoes. And that's because of how close you can get to the action. And you can actually see a lava flow coming out of its vent. But seeing these images brings a different historic eruption to mind, Mount Lassen in 1915. Houseback says that was a volcanic dome, while Kilauea is a shield volcano with much slower moving lava. And because of that, they're not very dangerous. But the burning question, will the Big Island recover from an eruption like this one? Quite frankly, this is a status quo for Hawaii. And Houseback says he's confident that people can avoid injury as long as they keep their distance from the danger zone. It's, it's very unlikely that anyone is going to be hurt by this eruption at all because we, we can walk faster than a Hawaiian lava flow. Now, Houseback says there's no way to tell just how long this eruption will last, but he believes that within a year, the area will quiet down and it'll be safe enough for visitors to walk on. Interesting. Slow-moving lava, but still pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Macy